High above the chaos of a battle between Roman and Carthaginian soldiers stands a Yoshia from China named Wei Yu and the legendary Mystheos Cassandra. Cassandra restates their goal to retrieve a powerful artifact from a Roman general just before she leaps into the fray. I shouldn't keep her waiting. Not bad. You're a natural at this. I could have handled myself. Force of habit. Come on, this way. This way. I suspect the stone will be in the midst of the fight. Look alive. What is happening? That doesn't sound good. Up here! Look over there. Did you save him for me? Don't flatter yourself. He might have a clue on him about the whereabouts of the stone. You must teach me your techniques from beyond the sea one day. They are intriguing. We should see what that's about. Here? Some of these men can still fight. You go on ahead, and I'll catch up. defeated a number of Roman soldiers, Wei Yu is met by a grateful Carthaginian leader, Hannibal, who sees that their objectives align. Hannibal wants the Roman general dead, and Wei Yu wants the stone he carries. That stone he had in his hand, that's what we're after. Wei Yu arrives before the Roman commander and issues a challenge, only to be mocked by his enemy as an insignificant foreign warrior. But the commander's arrogance would soon be tempered by the grace of an eastern spearmaster. Challenge me, weaklings! 
Is no one brave enough? The stone has been retrieved, and my end of the bargain fulfilled. That it has. And now for me to fulfill mine. Here. In these scrolls is everything you need to know about your disciples' circumstances. I trust you will find them most illuminating. There's a blade rolled up here as well. Another gift for your disciple. Consider it a token for your help. I promise you they will put this to good use. Thank you, Mystios. Truly. For everything. Having received the information he came to the west for, Wei Yu begins his voyage home, and we shift perspectives to the east to follow you, his disciple, as you follow up on a lead given to you by an informant and prepare to infiltrate Yongzhou Palace to reclaim a stolen treasure for the people. On the roofs of the palace, you and Chu Huan take note of the guards' movements. Chu Huan jokes about competing to see who can get to the treasure first and leaps down to begin the infiltration. I'll distract them. You take them out. Thank you. 
There are far too many attendants for a supposedly empty palace. What is happening? Spare no mercy! <laughs> Shift be over. <laughs> You're getting better at this. down stay in the shadows and wait for his approach this is a good spot why don't you whistle to draw their attention what is happening so is the bet on all right all right we'll decide on where it's tonight fastest person to complete the mission and get out of the palace will win absolute seniority and respect for tonight. What is happening? You're fast, but you can't outrun me. If our informant is right, the treasure's in the bedchamber on the second floor. We'll have to climb the beams and sneak in through the storage room. Then you... Making your way across the beams, you stumble upon a tense conversation between two men of high station, Zhao Gao, the Emperor's advisor, and Meng Tian the Grand General. Curiously, they pass veiled threats between one another, hinting at discord within the upper echelons of the Empire. As their conversation heats up, however, the door to the bedchamber slides open and the Emperor of China himself strides out. Both men humble themselves in front of the passing Emperor and follow him out of the room as he leaves. We'll have to climb the beams and sneak in through the storage room. Think you can handle that? Way's clear. What did our informant say about the treasure? She said it was a treasure stone. On my honor as Yosha, I will return this treasure to the people. You still say that every time? Shh, I hear something.
Follow me. Through the window. Hurry! Hold on. There are guards approaching. Don't let me print it! Keep searching! They can't have gotten far! Keep searching! They can't have gotten far! Stay low. Keep to the shadows. Over there! I think I saw some movement. Just as you approach the gate, a group of Qin guards appear to block your escape. Standing back to back, you and Chu Huan prepare to fight the surrounding Qin guards when your other companion, Yu Ying, leaps from a low wall to create an opening for your escape. What would the two of you do without me? We were doing just fine, Ying. Ying Ying is right to be concerned. We didn't expect so many guards to turn up. Much less the Emperor himself. The Emperor? But Jing Jing's intel is never wrong. I'll speak to her when we get back. Let's focus on getting home safe for now. Did someone win the title of seniority tonight? There was no clear winner. Although I probably would have won if things didn't go south. I'm not so sure about that. Well, if the two of you are still up for a challenge... Are you suggesting a race? I never said that. But we do need to get to the tower quickly. We still have some distance to the Beacon Tower. Say no more. We'll settle this tonight. Fastest climber wins. Is that the fastest you've got? Big talk for a slow guy. Let's see if you've been training your footwork. <laughs> this is nothing. Done this in so long. You'd best hang on tight. Up we go. There we go. This is easy. Steady now. Keep the pace. Final stretch. Come on. This is it. I'm not giving up. Looks like someone will be pouring wine for me to know. How about double or nothing? First one back down wins superiority. And no cleaning duties for a month. <laughs> you just don't know when to admit you're beat, do you? You're on. Bet if I climbed up that beam, I could use it to my advantage. I should take a good look before I leap.
Looks like the perfect spot to leap. <laughs> Flawless. Huh, that was foolish, but impressive. I'll admit that. Well then, I expect the chores to be done first thing in the morning. Are you mad? That jump was dangerous. A win is a win. All right. Anyway, from here on, we'll travel separately to avoid suspicion. Our mounts are close by. Call them and we'll head back home. ruckus we caused back at the palace. I hope no one traces that back to us. I have to speak with Jing as soon as I get back. She has a lot of explaining to do. I'll do anything. Just let me go. You're free. Get back to the village. But make Thank no you. sound. Thank you. Thank you, Yoshia. Please. I will remember this forever. What is happening? Please let me go. I will not forget this kindness. As you free the last villager, a final bandit comes out of hiding but begs for mercy. Thinking he's harmless, you spare him. But a figure leaps out from behind you and stabs him. It is Nia Jing, the Yoshio's informant. You said he surrendered. And if a lion told you it would not bite, would you walk into its den? Speaking of lions and dens, you never told us the Emperor himself would be at the palace. You saw him? And only by a stroke of luck did he not see us. How did you not know? My sources have never been wrong. I can't believe the bandits attacked again and stole the village's supplies. I'm gonna find their camp. Wait, Ju- You should be coming with me. What you've taken from the palace is too precious to have you running around with it. Now come on, let's go. I'm sorry about the Emperor. Truly, I didn't know. I'm just worried what happened at the palace will have consequences for us. I might not have known about the Emperor, but I promise you, I will take care of this. Thank you. I needed to hear that. That was awesome! 
the way that you, uh, and, and, and the way that she, shh, and, and then the way that they, uh, awesome! I'm gonna tell the whole village about what you did. There, safe and sound. Before I forget, Old Fan told me to pass you a message. Please ask the martial arts master to prepare a gift for you. Now, while you're collecting your present, I'll be off to fix your mess. You're due a gift. Go ahead. Put it in your hands. Feel its weight. How does it feel? Heavy. Good. Then you will grow. Now, prepare yourself. For what? For a sparring match, of course. How else will you acquaint yourself with this weapon? A tempting offer, yet I am uncertain if I should. A true warrior fears no challenge. You dare oppose the Chin? We have a problem here. Excellent. Now go and put that gift to use. Your friends came here earlier looking for you. You should find them.
There you are. That man has stolen something from me, and I need you to help me get it back. What is it? It's... You'll know it when you see it. Now, please. I'll see what I can do. What? Damn it! You have to go after him! Get back here! This is a real problem. This building must be where these thieves have been keeping all their stolen goods. I should find a way in. This section of the wall looks rather unstable. Maybe there's some way I can get through. is a lot. As you look around the room, Yu Ying rushes in, concerned about the state of its contents. She confesses that these treasures weren't stolen by bandits, but were gifted to her by the people she's helped. This trove is her way of ensuring that the Yoshia have resources to fall back on if things ever go awry. You promise to keep her secret. I should find Chu Huan. He did mention something about pursuing the bandits from before. I see you found the bandit camp. What have you learned? See that? The caves over there are where the bandits have been hiding their stolen goods. Now, with their leader out, it's the perfect time to strike. Let's split up to cover more ground. Can't wait for the boss to bring back this new batch of goods. <laughs> Can't wait There's for the boss here. to bring back this new batch of goods.
would have thought these Shionu would have some use after all? You dare oppose the Chin? on his body. I should keep it in case. As you unlock the door, a sound from the front of the cave draws your attention backwards to the bandit leader entering with a row of slaves in tow, the aforementioned goods. Knowing Chu Huan's history as a kidnapped child, you warn him not to do anything rash, but he's already leaping through the air. What happens to the quieter, the better. Having dealt with the bandits, you leave the cave and check in with Chu Huan, who requests that you not mention any of this to Yu Ying. Knowing that both he and Yu Ying were saved in their childhoods from a life of slavery by Master Wei Yu, you agree to keep quiet about this sensitive issue. I should get back to the village. to save up and start a prosperous business empire like Ba Qing. She's so amazing. Ba Qing? The richest merchant in the entire empire? You would be surprised at how much Yu Ying has already saved up. Anyway, Chuan, didn't you say you had something to share with us? 
I promised to pour you a cup of the best wine when you turn 20. I only turn 20 tomorrow. And is that Master Wei Yu's favorite wine? Master Wei Yu has been away for so long, it's gonna go bad by the time he returns. He's going to be back soon, and I'm not gonna be the one to tell him that we had his best wine for my birthday. Fine, fine, have it your way. Luckily, I knew you would be a stick in the mud, so I brought mine. Woken up by screams, you rush out of your house to see Jade Spring Village burning at the hands of Chin soldiers dressed in purple uniforms. You rush forward, looking for Chu Huan and hoping to save whoever you can. You're lying! Tell us the truth! Where is it? Please! No more! Please! I don't know anything! Tell us where the treasure is! Please! I don't know what you're talking about! Brother lives just ahead. I hope I get there in time. Who ordered the Chin soldiers to attack us? This is unheard of. happening. Chu Huan must have snuck out from there. He might have gone to Ying Ying's place. I expected more of a fight. Where are the Yosha who protect this village?
That's her house. I hope I'm not too late. I need to get rid of these soldiers. are inside get lost there are only children here you monster are you gonna kill us all <laughs> you're here shuhan went ahead to the main hall you have to help him get the rest to safety we'll reconvene at your safe house Leave Chu Huan to me. Chin soldiers seem to be after something in the warehouse. The treasure we took from the palace. You go to the warehouse. I'm going to see if I can grab some of my wine. You're crazy. There's no time for that. Choose now. Wine or life. I... Fine. The treasure isn't here. I've never seen Chin soldiers in purple before. New military department, perhaps. We'll figure out who sent them when we're safe. If they were really dispatched to find the treasure we stole... We don't know that yet. We could be attacking for any other reason.
Where's Ying Ying? She's bringing the rest to safety. We agreed to meet at her safe house. As you step through the waterfall, the enemy commander descends upon you, blade drawn. Chu Huan throws you aside and gets impaled in your stead. Numerous purple-clad Chen soldiers appear around you, forcing you to run, leaving the lifeless eyes of your sworn brother behind and the face of his murder burned into your memory. I have to keep going. I have to meet Ying Ying at the same... I have to... I hope they haven't found the safe house. Ying Ying, wait for me. I'm almost there. What is happening? Dare oppose the scene. Stay still, little girl, or this blade will be the last thing you see. Or you should take them out ride. silently, or they might use Ying Ying as a hostage. One wrong move, and it's over. I think I heard something. Look out. Yeah. Keep your eyes sharp. Now freed, Yu Ying asks after Chu Huan. A grim silence falls as you deliver the heavy news, but Yu Ying encourages you not to blame yourself for his death. You pick yourself up, but before you can say more, a snapping branch betrays the presence of a purple-clothed soldier who has been spying on you, and he starts to flee. Stop right there! Sure can run, but you can't outrun a Yosha. I'll make him talk when I get my hands on him. It's time for payback. <laughs> Thank you. 
finish off all but one of the attacking soldiers, but before you can interrogate him, an arrow pierces him through the chest, silencing him. You trace it back to Nye Jing, who vengefully claims justice for the village. She blames the Grand General for the attack, knowing that only he has the ability to command such a massive force. If the Grand General is truly after us, we will need to inform our contacts in Yangzhou City before it's too late. Yu Ying, do you know where we can find our contacts in Yangzhou? Old Fan lives near the Yangzhou Winery, and Big Chef frequents the market for ingredients. All right. Leave them to me. Then I'll gather the remaining survivors from around our village. I... I won't be sticking around. I'm laying low in the north till this blows over. I understand. This is a Yosha problem. You shouldn't stick close to us. Words of advice? Meet your contacts at Yangzhou's back gate where the stables are. It's the fastest route out. Thank you, Jingjing. Jing. Till we meet again. Jing! You may not be a Yosha, but you are still part of our family. Time to Grand General Meng Tian. Why does his name sound so foreboding? I'll look into the military movements once I've warned Old Fan and Big Chef. <laughs> Old Fan, are you there? Old Fan! What was that sound? Sounds oh, thank heavens, it's you! I heard about the village and feared the soldiers would find me. <laughs> so I sealed the door when I heard your approach, but now I seem to have locked myself in here. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll find a way to get you out. Is everyone safe? Chu Huan didn't make it. I'm sorry. I know how much of a brother he was to you. We're gathering everyone at Young Joe's back gate. Are you able to find your way there? Of course. But be careful. The Grand General may be involved in the village attack. That's what Jing said as well. I intend to search his office. There's bound to be a record of military movements. Well, you're lucky he's out of town at the moment. Still, be quick about it. And don't tarry. I'll see you at the back gate when I'm done. Big Chef, there you are. This isn't the time to be bargaining. Our village was attacked by Chin soldiers. What? Chin soldiers? Why would they... Is my family safe? We don't know. But I'm asking everyone to gather at the stables near Young Joe's back gate. Good heavens! I'll make sure to pass the news along. I've spoken to everyone. Now it's time to find out what the Grand General has been up to. Ah. Get him all! No! We took out almost everyone. Who sent you? you? Monsters! Answer me! <laughs> the General Meng Tian? Yeah. Who's your captain? Yeah. <laughs>
With the Qin soldiers defeated, Yu Ying rushes forward and crouches over a corpse that's been crushed under a carriage. Numbly, she tells you that she's the only survivor. With grim determination, you show her the letter from the Grand General, swearing to avenge your people and march off to the construction camp to find him. Who is your captain? Now that I'm in, I should learn what I can about the general. Halt! Who are you? A new laborer, sir. All right, in you go. I'm sure there's something notable. These are reports for the general. About an investigation into... My villain? It seems that the Purple Chin soldiers are acting without Meng Tian's knowledge. Does that really mean that the general had no idea about the attack? Excuse me, sir. Do you know where the general is? I wanted to thank him for something. I don't give away information for free. Those bricks over there need to go up to the tower. Perhaps when the bricks are where they need to be, I'll feel more generous with my information. Bricks have been moved. <laughs> the general is in the office over there. I saw him talking to a Chin soldier. I'm so glad it's the general that's in charge of building. Purple uniform? Interesting. Agreed. There's well, no one else I would trust thank you for the direction. The Shonu out of our borders. Why would the general be and speaking to soldiers? And where any other commander might treat us like lowly laborers, he right treats us him? with respect and dignity. He truly is a man of the people. Oh, this general of ours. He works himself to the bone. It's because he would never ask a soldier to do something he himself wouldn't. But he works harder than any of the other generals. At this rate, he'll... Don't even say it. A man such as he deserves to live a long and prosperous life, so don't curse him like that. Huh. Not the rep- It's time to judge the general with my own two eyes. And if I'm lucky, I may even catch a glimpse of the purple soldier. I ordered the leader of your contingent to come. Why have you come in his stead? He was unavailable. It wasn't a request. You believe you command us? If you haven't realized, we don't wear your colors. We serve only Yang Duana.
Interrupting their conversation is a horn that blares in the distance. You look and find its source, a horde of Shangnu invaders closing in on the wall. Meng Tian rallies his men while the soldier in purple makes an escape. Though desperate to pursue him, you cannot leave the Shangnu to breach the Great Wall and decide to help repel them. Kill the worthless! Die! Shangnu. To me! Only death and destruction allow. <laughs> Something is happening up in the Great Wall. That's their commander. If I take him out, the strong will should retreat. Kill the world. Oh. 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 My honor is your shield. I shall defend my people. likes of you.
fragile frame will crumble before my might. Your absence will be your downfall. Recognize your face, but I can spot talent on the battlefield from a mile away. Would you find some time to come to my residence in Yangzhou? I'm always looking for promising military talent, and I like to hear more about where you learn to do all that. It, it would be an honor. Excellent. I'll tell my steward to expect you then. Looks like I missed all the action. Ying Ying, perfect timing. I'll say. That's not a battle I would have enjoyed being a part of. So what did you find out? It seems the general wasn't involved in the destruction of the village. In fact, he's invited me to his residence to reward me for repelling the Xiongnu. I don't like you walking into the residence of the Grand General, but it would be an opportunity to learn more. I'll follow up on my leads and meet you outside his mansion when I'm done. Be careful when you're in there, alright? I will. I promise. I've come to see General Meng Tian. Ah, the General is receiving other guests, so make yourself comfortable. I should wait for the General over there. As you near the table, a tense political quarrel between Meng Tian and Zhao Gao draws your attention. Zhao Gao leaves, and you see Chu Huan's murder escorting him. Enraged, you rush to intercept him. But Meng Tian's men mistake your intentions and leap to protect their general. Best me. 
way up. And you don't know what kind of laws are breaking. <laughs> Though you fare well against Meng Tian, he refuses to be defeated and draws from his reserves. He disarms you, but just before he can bring his blade down upon you, the Tian Yen stone around your waist glows brightly, imbuing you with the strength to deflect the oncoming blow with your dagger. That... I recognize that glow. You know the Spear Master Wei Yu? I am his disciple. We fought side by side against the Shonu a long time ago. But what are you doing here? My village was burned by men wearing the uniform of Qin soldiers, so I came here to investigate. And because of you, the man that destroyed my village still lives. I could have killed him if not for you. You mean you could have gotten yourself killed? That man Duan He was with Zhao Gao of the royal court. If you had attacked him, you would not be standing here. At least now you have the chance to do it right. What do you mean? Years ago, when the Xiongnu agreed to our terms of peace, they sent a convoy of their people to show their sincerity. They were collateral, in case the Xiongnu broke the truce. And now they have. These Xiongnu are being rounded up in the city. If you want to learn more about Duanhe, that's where you can start. What does the Qin military commander have to do with the Xiongnu? Let's just say the Xiongnu have stumbled upon Qin military information one too many times for my liking. Why are you telling me this? Though we may not be allies, we at least share a common enemy. That's enough for me. Now go. My courtyard's a mess. Over here! Glad to see you made it out in one piece. The general says that the Purple Chin troops are acting out of his command. So then... Uh, who does command them? He isn't sure. But he suspects whoever it is, is working with the Xiongnu. The Xiongnu? I saw some of the general's troops taking some Xiongnu to the Yangzhou prison. Yes. He told me he was rounding them up. If they're working with these purple chin soldiers, one of them might know more. If we can offer them freedom, maybe they could help us. You want to break them out? Of the Great General's prison? We don't know a single thing about the Xiongnu. Their customs, traditions, way of life. If we want to travel beyond the wall to find out their connection to Chu's murder, we need to find an insider. Even if that means breaking into the General's prison. I... You're right. Follow me. I know exactly where the prison is. The general isn't going to be very happy if he hears you broke into his prison. Then I'll make sure he doesn't know it's me. You're just a sore loser. Come on. We're here. It's heavily guarded, so be careful. I'll meet you at the market stalls in Yangzhou when you're done. Hopefully with a friend.
This place is filled with General's guards. I should try to keep a low profile. For Heavens above. No we have a problem here. Scumbag, you need <laughs> Scumbag. <laughs> I've spent him. so many moons living in this if city. If I can get him out, I am no longer in touch with the goings on of my people. Lands. I have spent so many moons living in this city. I am no longer in touch with the goings on of my people. Come on, let's get you out of here. Who are you? What do you want with me? Escape first. Talk later. Quickly, before we get caught. So I take it you do not work for the Qin Empire. I work for its people, not its leaders. No. So, I should thank you two for my rescue. You're both rather young. We didn't do it out of the kindness of our hearts. <sighs> I didn't think so. So, what can a lowly Chongnu like myself do for you? We need information. We plan on traveling beyond the wall, and we could use a guide. Someone who knows Chongnu culture. Look no further. I am a subordinate of Tuman Chanyu himself the leader of the biggest Xiongnu tribe. In return for freeing me, I will show you the ways of the Xiongnu. Now, let us move before more guards arrive. I'll see you at the Beacon Tower in the Northern Wall. He's too friendly to trust. I'll keep an eye on him. Meet us as soon as you're able. But Xiongnu seemed too eager and willing to help us. He's hiding something. But I don't see what other option we have.
There you are. I was just about to explain to your friend the situation of my people. He's actually... been nothing but cooperative. My people are a scattered one. We roam the lands, pausing where there is water and grass for our herd to pasture. When the grass has been chewed to dirt, we move. Because of this, it's impossible to know exactly where a tribe is, unless you know the winding ways of our herders. You propose we travel with you while you search for your tribe? No. You would only slow me down. There is a small village beside the Muas Desert. Wait for me there. And leave you to return to your tribe all on your own. Do you take us for fools? I give you my word and my honor as a Xiongnu, that I will return to the Muas village the moment I locate my tribe. And how much weight does your word hold, exactly? I suppose you'll have to find out. Or we can travel together, slower than a tribe roams, and find nothing. Your choice. Go then. You will not regret this. Jingjing Jing is out there as well. I'm going to try and find her. You meet up with him as soon as you can. This marketplace is bustling. I hadn't expected so much wealth flowing in through shown new hands. If I'm to move through their lands, I should learn more about their people. 
Hello! Are you another chin trader? Come to trade with me? I assure you, I am shrewd. Shrewd? That's a strange way to put it. Yes, yes! A rich chin merchant who passed by earlier told me that people like me who are shrewd can earn a lot of money. I don't think that's a compliment, but I can't bear to tell this man the truth. I suppose earning money is a commendable skill. Yes, yes, that wonderful man even bought furs from me directly, without trading wares. He was so rich, he gave me tales. Really? That's surprising to hear. Yes, yes. My business has been going great ever since the Chen took over. Good Chen merchants like that man are generous. And who might this good merchant be? That good merchant came with guards, and they called him Master Yang. He must have been a noble. Master Yang? Could it be Yang Duanhe? Well, I thank you for your insight. I may have some business with this Master Yang you speak of. Yes, yes. Always a pleasure to meet a shrewd chin. Hmm. What happened? Don't hurt me. Look who's come to spit in our faces. A chin dog. I'm not here to cause trouble. I just want to learn if anything noteworthy has happened recently with the Shonu. Why? So you can exploit us even more. I'll give you something to learn about. My fists. Hold there, brother. There's been enough blood spilled in these lands. Leave him be. I apologize for my friend's behavior. Not all of us are so hostile to the chin. Thank you for stepping in. I'm not here to cause trouble. Just to find out the recent going-ons of your people. Oh, you've been rescued by just the right man. I travel through the lands, carrying gossip and whispers town to town. I could tell you anything you want to know. For a fee, of course. How much? A thousand tales. That's our... I can't afford that. Well then, everything you have will do. If not, I can't guarantee I'll be there to stop another fight. What? Get back here, you scheming cutthroat! There, brother. He's the one that threatened me. You dare threaten my people on my land? <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> Even if you kill us, you will never take away our freedom! That is not what I'm here for. You're fighting for us! You're fighting against us! Here to fight you. Uh. 
Lay down your weapon. Although you managed to defeat the Xiongnu warrior, more of them stepped forward and you were clearly outnumbered. Just then, the Xiongnu prisoner you saved leaps into the fray on horseback, calling for the Xiongnu to stand down. To your surprise, they comply and refer to him as Prince. He looks at you, knowing he owes you an explanation. I am not the subordinate of Tuman Chan Yu. I am Modu Chan Yu, his firstborn son. When we lost the war against your general, Meng Tian, my father saw an opportunity to kill two birds with one stone. He gave me to the chin to broker peace, while installing my youngest brother as the next puppet king. No doubt by attacking the Chin, he hoped the Chin would bloody their hands with my execution, so he could keep his clean. But now that I'm back, I will restore order to the Xiongnu. I will end this needless civil war. A fine ambition. One I will not stand in the way of. Yet I can't help but worry if you have forgotten our agreement. Hmm. <laughs> I have not. As promised, I will be your guide in these lands. But your motives haven't been entirely clear, either. What is it you seek that requires you to risk your life? The truth. I'm investigating a possible connection between rogue Chin elements and your people. Then we seek the same thing. I have indeed suspected my father has had dealings with the Chin. To start, we should investigate a nearby Chin village. My father's men are rumored to be on their way there. His dealings have benefited him at the expense of our people, and those that follow him are cut from the same cloth. I understand. Take the time you need amongst your own. I will head to the village first. Do not go easy on them. They are ruthless slavers. Those who would sell their own are not one of us. Prince Modu said these men were slavers. I won't hold back when I meet them. The village is under attack. No doubt these are tombs. If I can take down their leader, this raid will end faster. Why 
are you attacking us? Have mercy! <laughs> Giving the Xiongnu a bad name. You enslave your own kin and even attack those you kill. Where is your arm? I heard you the first time, Prince. Tell me, are you the son of Two Man Chanyu? Yes, yes! You've heard of my father? If you let me go, he'll be in your debt! I doubt he will honor that. He sent you to attack this village. Even though he claims to be friends with the Qin. I'm also aware that your father enslaved his own people for profit. Who... Who are you? How do you know that? I should let this rat go, and follow him back to his hideout. Tell your father that his reckoning is at hand, that the Yoshia are here to exact justice. Yeah, Yoshia? I'll be sure to deliver that message. I'll have to keep up while maintaining my cover. Prince, there you are. We thought we had lost you. We sent a few search parties to no avail. Your concern is appreciated. I wasn't sure if I could make it back alive. You are safe now, my Prince. We will stay here and guard the perimeter. Prince, you are back. I am just about to hunt. Would you care to join? 
perhaps another time. I am exhausted today. But my father and I are grateful for the game you always provide. You are too kind, my prince. Please, rest well. So this is where Tum and Chun Yu resides. I'll need to find proof of their collusion with the Chin. Perhaps I can infiltrate the camp as a passing merchant. Haven't seen this merchant before. Another Chin merchant. They don't know when to quit. You. Where do you think you're going? You walk into our camp without wares and a weapon on your back. Are you asking for an early death? I'm a peddling merchant, and I'm here to collect furs for trade. That's why I came empty-handed. We weren't informed of any collection today. Who sent you? Bunhan. The Chin officer sent me. Surely, he works with Tuman Chanyu. Duan, why didn't you say so earlier? Go on, man. But any funny business, and you're out of here. That, that's the Yosha! You dare enter my father's camp after what you did? You hurt the prince! Kill that scoundrel! Don't let that chin snake near our prince! I can't take on a whole village by myself. I should return in the evening when they're asleep. <laughs> They've stopped pursuing. This seems like a good place to stake out until the sun goes down. Under the cover of night, they are less likely to spot an intruder. Grand General Meng Tian is counting on me to find evidence of their collusion with the Chin. Tuman keeps up his end of the deal, the next batch of supplies will be coming soon. And don't forget to hand him the missive in the tent. The letter is from my boss, Duanhe. Don't you worry. I'll pass the message on if you keep those tails coming. Official agreement between the Chin Department of Immortality and Tu Min Chun Yu. Signed Duanhe. This is it. 
I need to get this to Grand General Mantien. How are we going to overcome the Chin Empire when we fight amongst ourselves? Why do we enslave our own people? We pledged loyalty to Tuman only because he's the strongest. We'll never be made slaves. We can't keep living like this. You promised me a good life. We're no better than slaves here. Shut it, woman. Do you want us dead? None of them is safe, even from their own people. I have the evidence for the Grand General. But this might be the only chance for me to catch one, huh? There's no time for second guessing. For true one's sake, I'll end one her myself. As you approach the western camp in search of Yang Duana, a group of Shanu raiders appear from the roadside, hoping to ambush a lonely traveler.
Give up just yet. another wave of Xiangyu warriors, but it seems endless. As fatigue catches up to you, a sudden hail of arrows takes out the oncoming warriors. Modu and his men arrive. He tells the survivors to bring word back to his father that Prince Modu has returned. As they flee, he comes to speak to you. I have important news. Our scouts have confirmed that the Qin forces have gathered our tribes to the west. The west is where I'm headed as well. I found evidence. Solid evidence that will get the Grand General on our side. Good, but you may not make it back to your General in time. If my scouts are right, they will attack the wall soon. It seems to be a distraction to lure your General out. For what reason, I do not know. And I fear my father cares little for their true intent, if he can fatten his belly and grow his fortune. Get to Tulu Pass as soon as you can. I've also sent word to your friend. She will be on her way to meet you. Thank you, Prince Modu. You have saved my life and guided me through your land. Hmm. It was you who saved my life first. Now you can tell your friends that you have a prince in your debt. You are no mere prince. It would do the Xiongnu good for you to become their next king. I pray we meet again.
Prince Modu said he sent Ying Ying this way as well. She it seems nearby. that they're co- There you are! I've been searching for Jing Jing, but she's proven to be rather elusive. She said she didn't want to get involved with us. Maybe we should leave her be. I'm just worried. Either way, Modu sent me a message to get here, and I found something way worse. That man, Tuan He, he's here, and they've smuggled a hill's worth of oil barrels to blow up the wall. These people know no loyalty. A Qin soldier blowing up the wall, and colluding with the Xiongnu. Whatever it is they've planned isn't good. We have to stop them. What they did to our village. We can't let that happen again. I've already transported some barrels to the wall. I should destroy those as well.
Was I too late? Ying Ying might be in trouble. As you approach Yang Duanhe, he recognizes you and promises to kill you as he killed Chu Huan. He throws an explosive your way. Before it reaches you, Yu Ying appears above and kicks it away, endangering herself as it explodes. In the smoke, Yang Duanhe flees, and an injured Yu Ying implores you to follow him. I swear, on the memory of my brother, today will be your last. Big top comes to lost to me before. Let's see how you fare against my bombs. Stay back. 
evolve no further. Your purple garments there. only fuel my anger. Bear I remember no how you slaughtered the weak. Don't you Our know order. who you're up against? This is for what you did to my village. Guards. Fox, huh? Over here. Seems like even Stop. You overpower Yangduanha and drive your blade through his chest. As Yangduanha breathes his last, a figure in a fox mask attempts to assassinate you, but quick reflexes allow you to parry the incoming blade, giving you a chance to engage them in combat. Guards! Over here! Stop my pursuer! So, you're the one in charge. The one pulling the strings on the nose. What do you know? You're just a pathetic youth. Stay out of my way. like even one hug answers to someone. Blow knocks the fox's mask off, revealing Nia Jing's face. Yu Ying and Meng Tian arrive, and Nia Jing pulls out the stolen treasure from the Yanzhou Palace. A magical shield deflects your blades, shattering and dazzling you. When the stars fade from your vision, she is gone. My search has led me to believe that the Department of Immortality has been manipulating the Xiongnu. I found a written agreement between Tu Man Chun Yu and Yang Duanhe. An agreement signed by Duanhe is not enough evidence to persecute the court official in charge. I have looked outwards for far too long, and now the foundation of our empire crumbles. But I won't stay idle. Not when my family's position is threatened at court, and this country rots from within. I have news that the Department of Immortality has dealings in Shangjun. I seek an eagle, a swift and wary hunter, to keep track of a fox that has long evaded my sight. 
than an eagle I shall be, and I will not stop until the fox has paid the price of betrayal. Good. Head to North Shangjun Garrison and Fushi Clay Mine. Find out whatever you can. We should probably split up if we have two places to cover. Are you sure you're up for it, Ying Ying? Don't worry about your friend. I'll ensure that she gets the best medical care before leaving. Thank you, Grand General. When my wounds are healed, I'll head to the Fushi Clay Mine. Hmm. All right. The clay mine sounds less dangerous. Then I'll investigate the northern garrison first. 